Do you want to fall in love? Yeah, I'm in love. What do you think romantic love is useful for? Diamonds. <laughs> Have you yeah. ever been broken hearted? Yeah, a lot. Kate Moss and Johnny Depp were one of showbiz's most beautiful couples. Their passionate romance took them from London to Hollywood to Cannes, sometimes leaving chaos in their way. When they broke up, Johnny took responsibility for it. 15 years later, Kate said she spent years and years crying. And now the supermodel was asked to testify in the infamous defamation trial. At the time, after being scouted at the age of just 14, Kate Moss had become one of the biggest supermodels in the world. A Vogue star who would go on to grace more covers of the British magazine than anyone else in history. Johnny Depp was, well, Johnny Depp. Star of 21 Jump Street, Edward Scissorhands, and What's Eating Gilbert Gray. The actor who never fell back on his looks and always pushed for eccentric characters. Fashion writer and former Vanity Fair columnist George Wayne introduced them in 1994 at Cafe Tabak in the East Village. He posted on Instagram, She strolled in with Naomi at what was our favorite hangout back then. I took her hand and immediately took her to Johnny's table in the middle of the restaurant. Johnny, this is Kate. Kate, meet Johnny. As Kate would later say, she knew from the first moment they talked that they were going to be together. I've never had that before. That's sweet, Moss added. Are you going to tie the knot? Are you and Johnny going to get married? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Kate has never had a problem talking about Johnny Depp. In the mid-1990s, the supermodel was asked by a British morning TV host about how romantic her then-boyfriend was, and revealed that Johnny liked to surprise her with parties and presents. Oh, go on, what sort of presents? asked the host. He gave me a diamond necklace which he had hidden on the crack of his arse, Moss chirped. Years later, she again reminisced about the jewelry. He said, Kate, I've got something on my arse. You have to look. I don't know what it is. Will you have a look for me? She told Nick Knight's fashion film. I'd only known him like three months. I put my hand on the back of his trousers and pulled out this fucking Tiffany necklace. It was nice not to find a boil. That necklace is fucking class. And they are like jewelry. I had posters. Johnny Depp, no. <laughs> the media couldn't get enough of the lovebirds who took their romance from London to France and LA to New York, creating a string of headlines along the way. According to People, Depp and Moss couldn't take their hands, lips, mouths, or legs off each other. Just months after they met, police were called to New York's Mark Hotel, where they found the couple's presidential suite trashed following an alleged argument. According to police, Moss was found unharmed inside the room, and Depp was in a state of possible intoxication. The actor blamed the mess on an armadillo he said was hiding in the closet. However, no such creature was found. He was arrested for alleged criminal mischief, but the charges against the actor were dropped on the condition that he'll stay out of trouble for six months and pay almost $100,000 for the damages. Johnny, you know what happened? Can you say what happened? Yeah, I met a, you know, nice, some, some nice people here. It has absolutely nothing to do with Kate, he later said of the incident. You want to hear the honest truth about what happened in that hotel? There was a cockroach in that room the size of a baseball, and I was chasing it, and I missed. In January 1995, Depp threw Moss a 21st birthday party at the Viper Room. He gave her a stunning John Galliano white slip dress to wear, and it was an item of clothing she cherished for a long time. It has traveled with me everywhere over the years, the supermodel once told British Vogue. It's the most perfect dress. Their passionate rows were legendary. Depp has claimed that he and Moss had sex in every single one of the 63 rooms of the legendary Chateau Marmont in West Hollywood, Los Angeles. He also reportedly filled a tub with champagne at London's Portobello Hotel for them to bathe in. They were pictured together at high-profile events including the Golden Globe Awards, the Cannes Film Festival, and premieres for the actors' films including Donnie Brasco and Don Juan DeMarco. Although the couple called it quits in 1997, after three years and a rumored engagement, they appeared together briefly at the Cannes Film Festival in May 1998. Moss was reprimanded there for wearing her bikini in the hallways of a legendary hotel. In response, she reportedly trashed her hotel room and was banned from setting foot in the place for life. Perhaps she was still stewing over Depp, who had taken responsibility for their split. The actor has blamed stupidity, his work, and his youth for their break. I have never got that emotional over a woman before, he said in an interview with Hello Magazine in 1998. I have been so stupid because we had so much going for our relationship. I'm the one who has to take responsibility for what happened. 
I was difficult to get on with. I let my work get in the way, and I didn't give her the attention I should have done, he said. Meanwhile, it was no secret that Moss struggled with the breakup, telling Vanity Fair in 2012 that she grieved the relationship for many years. I really lost that gauge of somebody I could trust. Years and years of crying. Oh, the tears, she said. Depp was with French singer Vanessa Parody from 1998 until 2012, and they share two children, Lily Rose and Jack. He wed her in 2015, and they divorced in 2018. Moss has a daughter, 19-year-old Lila, with publisher Jefferson Hack, and she was married to The Kills musician Jamie Hintz from 2011 to 2016. She's been dating photographer Count Nikolai von Bismarck since 2015. Despite the fact both Kate and Johnny went on to wed others, former flames remained close. In a 2005 interview with Good Morning Television, a British morning show, Depp defended Moss after the model received backlash for photos reportedly showing her snorting cocaine. She's super sharp, really smart, and got a great heart, Depp said of Moss. She's a good mom, and she just happens to be human, and the press wouldn't allow that, and that's unforgivable. According to CBS News, Depp said that he was appalled and shocked at the kind of vicious attacks. After years of wild stories about her alcohol and drug use, Moss told the magazine that she had given up going to clubs, adding, I'm not a hellraiser. Don't burst the bubble. Behind closed doors, for sure, I'm a hellraiser. The supermodel recently testified in the infamous trial when Heard mentioned her earlier. She said that she thought of Moss during a fight with Depp on a flight of stairs, in which she said that she punched Depp in self-defense. Moss video called the court from England to give her version of events. She said there was an incident involving stairs when she and Depp were in Jamaica, but she emphasized he never touched her. We were leaving the room and Johnny left the room before I did. There had been a rainstorm. As I left the room, I slid down the stairs and I hurt my back, she said under oath. I screamed because I didn't know what happened to me and I was in pain. He came running back to help me and carried me to my room and got me medical attention. I'd never heard a rumor of that um, before um, Miss Heard uh, grabbed hold of it. Despite the supermodel's relationship status, social media swooned about her appearance at the trial, with many saying Depp looked delighted when she popped up to refute prior testimony from her. Johnny smiled when Kate popped up on the screen. Y'all better get back together, cause that cute, an eagle-eyed trial viewer wrote. Meanwhile, another asked, can we talk about how Johnny's face lit up after seeing her face on screen? And after a six-week trial, a jury has found Amber Heard defamed her ex-husband by referring to herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse in a 2018 opinion piece. Seven jurors at Virginia's Fairfax County Circuit Court found overwhelmingly in Mr. Depp's favor, awarding him 15 million U.S. dollars in combined damages to offset the impact of the Washington Post article. Mr. Depp has declared victory, saying the decision has given him his life back. That's all we have for you today, choosers. As always, thanks for choosing us. Spread the word and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity love stories. Be well and be kind.